After working with LUTs myself and the frustration of them being too saturated and too strong and having to turn down the intensity, long time ago I decided to create my own LUTs. And now we just updated to the most recent pack that will be the only one I'll be continuing with moving forward, consolidating everything I've done before. So I wanted to show you how to use these LUTs in three simple steps. It's never been easier. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and let me show you. All right, if you have LUTs or if you downloaded my LUTs, it's super simple to install them. Just hit Preferences up in the DaVinci Resolve menu, head down to General and add the folder in which your LUTs are in. Make sure that you add the folder previous to the one with the LUTs so that you actually get a folder with the LUTs in them. Now it's easy to find them in here in your LUTs folder. And as you can see, we have the color pack here with some conversion LUTs and creative LUTs. So let's jump into how to use them. Now, first of all, let's start with this clip of this cute penguin. I'm gonna make three notes just to make it super simple. This is our conversion LUT. This will be our LUT itself. And this will be our exposure adjustments. Now for the conversion, you can either use a cost based transform. In this case, I'm just gonna use one of the conversion LUTs that I've included, which is exactly the same as if I was just using Canalog Free, Cinema Gamut into Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. Now adding one of the LUTs for this clip, I think Cool Arctic could look pretty good. And immediately we have this blue teal-ish look. And the only thing that's left to do is just adjust the exposure a little bit. So I'm gonna turn down the offset a little bit and turn up the gamma. And with that, we just adjusted it ever so slightly. Maybe I wanna turn down the lift a little bit again, just to make it a little bit darker and moodier. And with those three clicks, we went from this to this. The lot does a lot, no pun intended. And we could use different ones here in the pack to kind of get different styles and looks depending on what we are going for. I kind of like this cool Arctic blue look for this one, but let's head into some more. I'm just gonna copy this workflow because it's gonna work on all the clips that we have. So let's head into this turtle here and maybe it's a little bit strong with our exposure adjustments. So just resetting that and let's take a basic Monday on this guy. Now everything looks pretty normal. The only thing is that it is pretty harsh light up here. So let's turn down the highlights a little bit to soften up the sky and maybe increase the shadows as well. This is something you can do in any software, by the way. And by that, we have a pretty cool looking shot with just a few clicks. Let's head into something that's a little bit more green because as we all probably know, green can be some of the most difficult to work with. So I'm gonna copy again to this one, having our conversion LUT, our LUT, and then our exposure adjustments, resetting our exposure adjustments, and faded forest is my favorite for this one. It really gives some nice orange and natural looking skin tones, along with these faded greens that just gives a little bit of a nice texture. Now, if we were to put on the qualifier here and have a look at where the skin tones lie, we could adjust the highlights a little bit to turn them down. And now we can just get a little bit of a moodier look with some nicer skin tones that are lying in the correct area. Turning into something like a sunset shot, we could do the same here, add this, turn off the exposure, and for this one, I think dip in the ocean works pretty well to get that teal and orange and these nice blue ocean tones. So with this, I'm just gonna turn down my gain because we have a lot of information in our sky here. And I don't mind that it's quite silhouetted here. So turning off these so we can see more of what we're doing, but we could turn off the shadows a little bit to kind of get rid of some of that silhouette. And if we feel like the blues or teals here are too strong, we can head into the curves and just select our blues either with the qualifier or as I'm doing here and just turn down the saturation a little bit but instead of doing it on the lot itself I can do it after the lot and just turn down the saturation to make it look a little bit softer if that's the feel that I'm going for. Let's take one last one let's take a cityscape here maybe this one instead let's add our three notes manually this time convert lot exposure just to show you that it works with this color space transform as well I'm gonna add that one in Canon Cinema Gamut Canon Log 3 in my case Rex 79 and gamma 2.4 adding a lot let's see which one could work maybe desaturated thursday and right off the bat i think it looks pretty good but it is quite towards the darker tones so let's just increase the gamma a little bit maybe reduce the lift a tad as well and with that in a few clicks we have something that looks pretty damn cool from this log image so these were three simple steps to add and adjust your lots and Maybe four steps if you wanna adjust the hue and the saturation as well, but really working around with the LUT make it super easy to just apply and have a grade right off the bat. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and I definitely think you should consider grabbing the LUT pack both to support me if you're interested and also to just improve your workflow like crazy. And with nothing further, I'll catch you in the next one.